University of St Andrews is the oldest in Scotland and recently celebrated its 600 year anniversary. It is ranked third in the 2016 Guardian University Guide and has an established worldwide reputation for educational excellence. The East Chem School of Chemistry at the University of St Andrews seeks to promote excellence in research and teaching, providing a state-of-the-art environment for undergraduate, postgraduate and professional study. I'm a professor of organic chemistry and catalysis at the University of St Andrews. Now the School of Chemistry at the University of St Andrews is constantly striving to achieve excellence in both undergraduate, postgraduate and in professional study. The School of Chemistry at St Andrews is a dynamic research environment with 35 research leaders, 140 PhD students and 90 postdoctoral research assistants. They have one of the largest postgraduate groups in the university, with the School of Chemistry widely recognised as having research activity and strength in a range of areas ranging from catalysis to synthetic chemistry and energy materials alongside key interfaces in chemical and biological sciences. St Andrews um, has a, a culture of excellence in everything that it does. Um, they strive for excellence in, in teaching and excellence in research. And that's brought about by a very uh, professional and organised environment. But it's also a lot of fun. Chemistry, it's fun to study, it's hard work to study um, and do research in. But uh, the, the environment here in St Andrews allows you to perform this world-class research at a very high level in a great atmosphere. It's, it's good fun to do as well. St Andrews is the lead partner of the EPSRC Centre for Doctoral Training in Critical Resource Catalysis, CRITICAT. This comprehensive PhD training programme is unique, world-leading training and research environment founded on the shared scientific excellence in catalysis of the three proximate centres of research at St Andrews, Edinburgh and Harriet Watt. My role is uh, programme manager for the CRITICAT Doctoral Training Centre here at St Andrews. What we are interested in doing is providing a slightly different approach to PhD training. So what we do is we take in a cohort of roughly 15 students each year and they go through a six month training programme. So this six month training programme is divided between a four month talk course where students go to lectures and also move into the labs to do two week training rotations. And this allows them to go through a, re, uh, a number of different training opportunities in heterogeneous, homogeneous and biocatalysis. So it gives them an overview of the, the breadth of catalysis research going on within the UK uh, and hopefully gives them just a, a wider uh, appreciation of the science that's being conducted. Following that four month period, the students then get to work on a two month research project, relatively short, but again in these kind of small teams so that they can work on uh, uh, team building exercises, that kind of thing. We also like to bring students from different backgrounds, so maybe some with homogeneous, heterogeneous and biocatalysis backgrounds, bring them together and hopefully this then leads to fostering uh, interdisciplinary projects. As part of our doctoral training centre, we offer each of the students an opportunity to uh, have a three month or longer placement at either an academic partner, so that we have a range of different collaborations with people abroad, uh, and also within industry. So by doing this, students can go and work in an industrial setting. Uh, and by doing this, they get a feeling for what chemistry is like when you try to commercialise a process or, or generate a product. In order to be able to, to carry out world-class state-of-the-art science, we need analytical facilities that are at that level. I personally have invested in a HPLC machine. After trialling a wide range of different suppliers, we decided to go with the Shimansu instrument. The instrumentation, I was able to develop uh, a relationship with Shimansu in which they were very good in taking forward and making, working with us to try and develop the best instrumentation for our needs. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what we have to do is really try and inspire our students. We look to try and make sure that we do state-of-the-art research. State-of-the-art research means that we need to develop new methods and new methodologies, really try to push back those boundaries. And if we can encourage our students to do that, and if we can then encourage the next generation of scientists to take science forward in the future, then that would be great for, for St Andrews as a whole. 
St Andrews has uh, an excellent reputation and part of that is that we're able to attract uh, a, a great set of different students. So we have people that are very enthusiastic, uh, interested in learning and also the course that we offer uh, covers a huge area of chemistry. So chemistry is, is so broad, it's such a broad subject, but we throw huge amounts of information at them, but they seem to just be interested and hungry for more. So this is really interesting, and, and part of my job is that I get to interact with these students, talk to them about the science, I get to learn stuff about projects that I have no, know nothing about, um, and I just think it's fantastic. So we bring these students together, and in general, uh, they tend to teach one another without us being really involved, which is it, it's the perfect situation, essentially. I really like uh, the way that chemistry makes me think. We look for the unexpected. It takes you places that you don't really expect. You can be trying to solve a problem to go from A to B. You might end up at C, but that might be a, new, a really interesting way to get there. And that's what really inspires me and what motivates me in chemistry. So, with the combination of a rich, fascinating history, coupled with the significant thought and investment towards an even brighter future, the St. Andrews School of Chemistry offers a world-class education. To find out more about the educational opportunities and the unique approaches offered, please contact the team at chemistry at